The results have not been there. 32 wins the first season, 44 wins the second season, and now they're heading in the wrong direction. 44, then after that, 37 wins last year. What the hell has happened to the Detroit Pistons? That the Detroit Pistons have just shocked the Los Angeles Lakers. 187 to win the NBA title. The number two seed in the Eastern Conference. Not every day an MVP gets traded for a finals MVP one week into the season, but on Monday, that's what happened. AI traded back to the East to the Pistons. In return, Nuggets get 2004 finals MVP Chauncey Billups and Antonio McDice, a major shakeup without Allen Iverson for the rest of the year. Today, Detroit announcing that AI will be out with a bad back. Iverson returned from injury and played the last three games, but complained publicly about coming off the bench and talked about retirement. Not ready for it. Pistons done. And the first to the second. First team to the second round. LeBron and the Cavs, they sweep Detroit in four. Michael Curry is out as Detroit Pistons coach. He was fired Tuesday after the team sputtered to a 39 and 43 record in his only season on the job. The Pistons reached the playoffs under Curry, but were swept by Cleveland in the first round. Playing with Kevin Garnett, Ooh. playing with Paul Pierce, guys that kind of match his intensity, his philosophy about how to play the game. That really impressed him that they went to that length to come show him how much they wanted him to play. The Pistons' aggressiveness with Gordon and really the love that they showed him. Uh, they weren't willing to give him, you know, the money he was looking for. He wanted the Pistons show that he was a priority for them. It's a little strange, you know, just saying I come full circle, you know. Uh, you know, left for a while, you know, went to a, called up a couple of other teams and, uh, you know, back. At 6 nine, number six from the bench from Virginia Union. Set to defend, you fat Ben! The rim. Now, who's behind the back? Shannon Brown. Who's having himself another top by Jason Maxiel? What a stop. That was sensational by Man. Jason Maxiel. He's talking a little smack, too. I like it. With the seventh pick in the 2010 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Greg Monroe from Georgetown University. He's not 41 or 45 years old. He's only, he's mid 30s, young, 31. Right. And uh, he's still young. He's got a lot of basketball left. Hopefully, he can go out there and prove it. I'm well, pulling for him. It, it would be a great story if yeah. he could come back. Tayshawn Prince was on that trade block. Rip Hamilton as well. He's been inactive most of the season. He's only played in 35 ball games, and so many thought he was on his way out. That did not happen, and so players decided. There was mixed reaction from the fans about the sale. Most say, from Karen Davidson to fans to players, seem to be relieved to know what they believe is in their future. And really, everyone seemed pretty excited about it. Backs him in. Top side to Rodney. Drives it. Jams it. That was an I mean it dunk. Whoa. What a throwdown. With the eighth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Brandon Knight from the University of Kentucky. Lawrence Frank will be the Pistons' next head coach. I talked to the Pistons today. They're not confirming anything as expected. No formal offer's been made yet, but he spent six years as the Nets' head coach and did a pretty good job. It looks like he's going to win out. His skill set really fits Derrick Rose because he's not a guy that dominates the basketball to be effective. And so I think it creates a situation where Chicago is legitimately going to be a team that has a chance to come out of that Eastern Conference. Of course, the Pistons starting lineup. Jason Maxiel now 4-2 and two as the starter. And Tayshon flank Greg Monroe up front in the backcourt. Brandon Knight and Rodney Stuckey. Lakers lead it 74-71. Rodney over Kobe with a line drive. What a sweet move that was. Hello, Kobe. 23 for Rodney. With the ninth pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Andre Drummond. 
from the University of Connecticut. They're improving, and a part of that improvement, I think, is their rookie center, Andre Drummond, mm -hmm. who's really shown some signs of growing up. The big question mark with him and coming in is would he be consistent? What his motor was going to be like? What his passion level was like? Warm welcome for Tayshawn Prince. He takes Tony Allen's place with the small forward slot. Prince, his first shot. It's in! Welcome to Memphis. Welcome How about to Memphis? Memphis. Drives it. Gotta get it up there. Gotta get it up there. Basketball. Tony with a shot. In time! Knocked it down! Charlie Villanueva! Our guys are going out there putting an honest effort, 100% effort out on the floor. And that's what people hear. I think that's what people in Detroit think about when they watch Detroit basketball. That's what we get, we're going to get started and get ready to do. With the eighth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Kentavious Caldwell-Pope from the University of Georgia. Josh Smith stays in Atlanta are over. Joe Dumars made the big move last week and agreeing to terms with the nine-year vet. Smith was formally introduced this afternoon in Auburn Hills. The deal is official. Four years, $54 million. It was funny. Uh, after my press conference when I went home, I took that jersey that I had home with me. So I had to practice like putting it on again <laughs> so I, I wouldn't be weird today. But I feel good, though. This is a new beginning for me in my career. I think just being here overall is going to help my my game and my career, take it to the next level. Things that I can bring to the table, just a lot of energy. Of course, I want to win. And we're a playoff team. We can definitely make the playoffs with what we have. I mean, with Andre German, Greg Monroe, those guys play hard and they don't back down from anybody. And I think with that attitude, it equals success. The Detroit Pistons have parted ways with head coach Mo Cheeks even after back-to-back -back wins. Cheeks is 21 and 29 in his first season in Detroit. He previously coached Portland, the Pistons currently just a half game out of the eighth seed. But with the Pistons out of the postseason this year and playing for an interim coach, that fabric is torn, and it appears Dumars won't be the person mending it. The Detroit News reports Dumars has been telling NBA colleagues he plans to resign. Take it away. Here goes Jennings. He's hitting oh, off the board and the dunk by Drummond. That what a play! Going to make every highlight. Oh. I know what it takes to be successful. I think I know what it takes to build successful teams, and I've given it a lot of thought. We really start to create the culture uh, that will lead us to sustain success. Van Gundy's first order of business will be to figure out what to do with the Andre Drummond, Greg Monroe, Josh Smith troika. To no one's surprise, that group struggled to play together last season, and it's more likely that Van Gundy relegates one of them to the second unit this season. It's a hand scratcher just because, as you said, they still are going to have to pay him about $26 million. Have been trying to trade him through the season, could not do it. And finally, they just said, look, we have to get addition by subtraction. Reggie wanted to run his own team. He got offered four years and 48 before the season started. He said, uh-uh, I don't want to be here. I want to have my own team. His minutes have dropped tremendously since the beginning of the year. Against Westbrook, Andre screens, gets it back, turns. The windmill will bring the house down. Give me my Tim Hortons play the game back. Give me another chance at it. With the eighth pick in the 2015 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Stanley Johnson from the University of Arizona. Reggie Jackson just became a very wealthy man. Jackson has agreed to a five-year $80 million contract with the Pistons, and he averaged 14 and a half points on the year, though he couldn't break even 30% from long distance. They're always a tough squad to figure out. Pistons, uh, very difficult to figure out where they'll fall exactly. in the Eastern Conference, because they easily could be a playoff team, especially in the East, or like last year, you know, they're around that 30 win mark. I, I wouldn't be surprised. That's the first thing, you know, I thought about is, hey, let's make the playoffs. I mean, um, you know, that's one of my goals, and I think we have the talent here, and we have the ability to do it. Um, you know, every single game, I'm going to get my heart out there to, to reach that goal. Patterson puts it down, poked away, picked up by Andre from... Oh, three quarters, oh. Mark, and he hit it! He had his eyes on the prize and let it fly! Two, one, Jackson, the three shot! Game over! Cavaliers win!
They sweep the Detroit Pistons. For me as a person, as a player, and as a captain of my team, I still need to be that guy that I am each and every day. You know, I still got to be the same smiling face when things aren't going right. I can't, I can't go about it a different way. I still got to be consistent each and every day. After Cleveland, I don't think there's a clear number two team. Why can't it be Detroit? I know they're missing Reggie Jackson right now. They rebound the ball well and they block shots. And I think that is that what Stan Van Gundy wants to build his team around, a good solid defense. And there's a gap in that in the Eastern Conference. Continue to try to progress and get back as healthy as possible. And once it feels right, we'll keep talking and going through the diagnosis. But once it's right, we'll get back to playing full time. But uh, doing everything I can to try to recover, try to take care of it. And Butler comes away with a rebound. Reggie takes it away, saves it for an Andre Jam. How about that? Court awareness. Knowing where people are and where people are not. With the 12th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Luke Kennard from Duke University. He is perfect. I mean, Stan Van Gundy has been looking for that tough-minded, uh, two-way player at the guard position. He can score the ball. He defends. He's an elite defender at his position. The Pistons' new season at Little Caesars Arena begins with two big question marks. Can Andre Drummond and Reggie Jackson carry the team the potential everybody thought they had before last season? And before last season spiraled out of control. Are you listening, Stan Van Gundy? Get ready. This is the best story in the NBA so far this season, the Detroit oh. Pistons. And Andre Drummond hitting free throws, the best story of the season. He's playing exactly how Stan wants. They're playing hard. Their best player until recently is not actually as good as you think he is. It's not that he doesn't have Ooh. a beat. Andre Drummond, Reggie Jackson's a nice little player. I like Reggie Jackson. But if he's your starting point guard and you want to squint and pretend he's a star, I got bad news for you. Shocked is, is a good way to put it. I didn't didn't know anything. Um, I pretty much found out when everybody else found out. So um, yeah, it just kind of took a second to to realize. Okay, like everything's changing. But I must confess, I expected a little bit more when Stan Van Gundy got there because I happen to believe that the man is a damn good basketball coach or what have you. But the results have not been there. 32 wins the first season, 44 wins the second season, and now they're heading in the wrong direction. Van Gundy will not return to the Detroit Pistons next season as a coach or in the front office. The Pistons announced the move today. The Pistons went 152 and 176 over the past four seasons under Van Gundy. The Pistons have hired a new head coach, a source tells 7 Action News. He is Dwayne Casey, the former coach of the Toronto Raptors. ESPN reports that Casey agreed to a five-year deal to run the Pistons. Honestly, the time is now. I mean, there's no better time than the present. We have everything we need to be a great team. There's no reason why we can't be a, a top team in the East or a top team in the NBA. The 2011 Kia NBA Rookie of the Year and Slam Dunk Champion, he's a six-time All-Star from the Detroit Pistons, Blake Griffin. Bounce top side to Blake Griffin. Turn, drive, lays it up, lays it in! Point now is not really the time to, um, especially after after exiting like this, it's not really a time that I sit back and, and um, reflect and, and feel feel positive. You know, it'll be a long, long off season. One of the reasons why I wanted to come here is because of the depth of the team. We have a very long team. I think switch anything, reverse it out. Of course, with, with Blake Drummond, the big dynamic is, is huge here. I would think Reggie Jackson and Drummond have value in the market. Obviously, we can't really win the East. We know that. We can compete for the East and get to the playoffs, but then what happens? We're not bad enough to get a high lottery pick, and if we do, we need to be better in the draft than picking the right players. The Pistons star is considering knee surgery, and it could end his season after he's played just 18 games. Griffin is expected to visit a specialist this week on his left knee. It's the same knee Griffin injured and played through last season. Dude has been playing in NBA purgatory for the last seven years, since he got into the league. Detroit, the best they finished in his tenure is eighth in the East. That's the best. And then you're going to trade the man who clearly isn't the problem without a heads up. Veteran guard Reggie Jackson's contract was bought out by the Pistons yesterday. Now Jackson, who is averaging 15 points and five assists this season, plans to sign with the Clippers. 
Got his Derek run. with the drive over Holiday. Hits it as time runs out. Derek Rose wins the ball game for the Pistons over the Pelicans here in New Orleans. I couldn't be happier about being able to join the Piston family and lead the charge to uh, continuously trying to uh, restore the Pistons uh, back to consistent winning. With the seventh pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Killian Hayes from Lakeland, Florida. Not at all, not at all. I think uh, my decision to, uh, and to come to Detroit and uh, showcase uh, talents that I haven't been able to showcase before definitely helped me to get picked for that, for that team. Blake Griffin and the Pistons are parting ways. That's according to Woj, who says a number of teams are interested. And he mentioned the Nets, also the Heat, the Warriors, the Trailblazers. Jeremy Grant got his defender in the air. Jeremy Grant, good night. Tice who blocked three Makai Luke shot. No chance against Jeremy Grant. The second pick will be made by the Houston Rockets. And that means that the number one pick in the 2021 NBA Draft goes to the Detroit Pistons. With the first pick in the 2021 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Cade Cunningham from Oklahoma State University. That's because there's just so much movement and very little standing around. Oh! But Cade with an answer. A reverse dunk. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? With the fifth pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Jaden Ivey from Purdue University. Uh, <laughs> Let's go! I feel most bad for Cade that he was unable to take a step forward. There is a silver lining in all of this. Yeah. They have a better chance to have the worst record in the league and get Victor Wembenyama. It also gives them a chance to put the ball in Jaden Ivey's hand. They have a young core and they're building and they're adding pieces here and there. So obviously you're not gonna see immediate results for this team, but in the next two or three years, this is gonna be a really fun team that plays hard and might put themselves on the map.